Hey guys, welcome back to the no, this is the channel because I can't say welcome back to the vlog. I didn't even tell y'all we was vlogging today. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be having a little interesting day. We're just gonna have a little bit of a barbecue and chillin'. I don't know if there's dominoes, but we might get into dominoes. But we're vlogging all day, so you guys are gonna spend the day with us. Right now, we just got our Starbucks and breakfast burritos. We went to Safeway, the weakest Safeway of them all, and bought all of the stuff for our barbecue. Oh no, this isn't mine. I know, that wasn't my coffee, that was yours. Gross. Right now, we're just getting all situated. Jordan is having a good day. We've got the deep soaking tub, the fireplace, the wine cellar. A grill. 60 inch. The grill. We didn't come to play, but we have that luxury of being able to lose the game and still be in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> Clowns, you guys still fucking suck. This is what I have. This is this is what Raiders fans, this is y'all. You have the team that's leaving y'all. Y'all suck, and then you can still have the nerve to argue with Niners fans when we have an amazing season. Y'all can't just stop hating. <sighs> sad. It's really quite sad. You if you want me to not be loyal to the soil and like, why are you still watching a game at this point anyway? That's the Vegas they're Raiders. still no, they're still Oakland Raiders right now. They are yeah. still Oakland Raiders. I'm loyal. I'm a loyal Lord. person. Lord. Loyalty Lord. to the end. And Jordan wants me to just throw them away because they lost their last game. Like, I know they lost. They've been losing lots of games. But until they actually move to Vegas, they're still Oakland Raiders. Oh, let me show you guys the tub. We're going to take a bath later. This tub has really nice jets. I can put your candles back over there. And then Jordan's going to give me a massage. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. So what's going to be on the menu today, Jordan? Uh, ribs, uh, chicken, and... A whole chicken to be exact. A whole chicken. I'm going to make the chicken drunk. Get the chicken drunk as fuck up in here. And I'm uh, also going to put some... Brussels sprouts, macaroni and cheese. That actually might not be a bad idea. Shout out to my dad. Jordan knows that his barbecue kind of set the bar pretty high, and I think Jordan can do it. What? The food's good. What? You know, I have a high, high, um, what is it? High expectations when it comes to ribs. Have I ever disappointed you with ribs? You haven't disappointed me. I didn't. But you can try to put barbecue sauce. sauce on shit and then not I be like, like barbecue sauce. Ah. I, like, I like having both wet and dry ribs. My dad I used to always do uh, some wet ribs and dry ribs and then pork ribs versus beef ribs. We had options. So. My dad does both too, but I'm just, I'm so here for dry rub. Dry rub. Scary movie when he was serving them the chicken. 
the turkey and he put his hand in it. Then he licked it. Remember that part? <laughs> you don't remember that part. Okay. You held good? Why is it gonna be good? So you're gonna drunk in our chicken. Yeah, a lot of people don't know what that concept means. It means I am going to. Uh, I'm gonna. In beer, I'm gonna let it evaporate. And as it evaporates, that moisture is gonna seep into the chicken. Further moisturizing the chicken. I know some of you are saying, well, wouldn't that make the chicken taste like beer? Obviously, you don't know how to cook. raving about white claws now i've never had a white claw but we were in safeway jordan got his beers and i was like i'm gonna try me a white claw so we're gonna see if this is like really as good as people make it seem like it is at the mango flavor and it says that it is five percent alcohol 100 calories and gluten free spiked sparkling water oh no spiked Sparkling water. I hate sparkling water. Like, I hate it. Mm, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Wait. Okay, I'm going to say that it's terrible. It's not good, but it's not terrible definitely sparkling water with a hint of mango and ain't no alcohol in this ain't no alcohol in this this is not we shouldn't even call this a hard seltzer this is not a hard seltzer this is sparkling water with mango that's all this is ain't no five percent alcohol in here ain't none of that no 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 What kind of what kind of alcohol is in this? I mean, if you're a lightweight and you just want to act like you're drinking, that's like worse than Mike's Hard Lemonade. That's what that is. Thumbs down. Oh, look who it is. Oh, look who it is. Don't do it. So we got the beer can and the chicken. As you guys can see, I'll turn it. As you can see, I got a Pacifico can in there. Nothing crazy. A well seasoned chicken. Uh, I bent the arms back like that so it can roast. It's not going to be really touching the grill at all. So you're going to put it standing up in the grill? Yep, standing up just like that. Oh. I got the bread on there. Uh, I went ahead and put some more must put some mustard on the top of the layer piece that I already did. <gasps> mustard? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I so that. I do the mustard trick with fried. I just did that for the viewers because the viewers we should. I do the mustard trick with fried chicken and it does make a difference. It's really good, but Jordan acts like he just tastes mustard and so nasty. And he hates when I do it, so I try not to do it, but I still do it. And you over here putting mustard on the ribs, boy. Hey, what the hell? And I put a last layer of dry rub on top. Good. Just to fuck them up when you find that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, then try this. Try this. You like it? I already told them what I think. Let's see what Jordan thinks. Well, it just tastes like sparkling water with a hint of mango. That's exactly what I said. This is not no alcohol. I look on the side to see what kind of alcohol. It just says alcohol. There ain't no alcohol in this. Five percent. Wine for later. Just getting this stuff started. Just getting stuff started. Y'all see, I'm doing what I do. Finest, Blame America. I will help him out if he needs it, but. Three hours later. You put that on the grill? Yeah, I have smoked cheddar on the 
how to get the smoky flavor somehow. So, oh my gosh, what's that black shit? Some grill remnants. No. All right, boy. And when do you need to start on your fucking uh, shit? Cause my shit is done. You're fired. Look at this. It's black shit on there. You gonna get that off? No, that's gonna be my. I like that. That's that's part of the experience. But mm. it's not from the actual experience. It's from the grill. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the experience, dog. Come on. The Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts is my thing to make them the best. Um, I think I'll share my recipe with you guys. If you saw it on my Instagram, like maybe some months back, you already know. But if not, enjoy the show. Making Brussels sprouts now. So, making, you gotta have your bacon first. Thank you, bacon. Yep. You have to render your bacon, so don't cook the bacon like frying it. You just want all that fatty juice to like come out of the bacon, so you can cook your Brussels sprouts in it. And let me show you the Brussels sprouts. And here are the Brussels sprouts. So I cut them in half, and then I took off like two or three of the first layers and cut out the core, and then have them. So after this gets all juicy. And the bacon's gotta cook though, it's gotta cook all the way. And Jordan's making mashed potatoes. Um, but yeah, he's making mashed potatoes, so. Yeah. Here in Kitchen Stadium, we have Latrell under the gun with only 45 minutes till game time to get these Brussels sprouts done. In the oven, we have mac and cheese already looking very, very tasty in here. Let's see, let us see. Oh man, it's smoked. We put it on the grill for a second, get that smoke check. I think I'm gonna take this out now. It looks ready. It looks ready. It looks ready. And under that we have the ribs marinating. I already had them on the grill. And then we transfer them here just to get the Oh, look at that steam. Let's put it back. No, don't let that out. That's that good shit. No. And we have water boiling with potatoes in there. We have our potatoes boiling for our mashed potatoes. We do do mashed potatoes in the package. I'm not gonna front, but today <laughs> we have regular ones. This is the master chef. Mm, I gotta like, think. This away. is not. She's. She may be the master chef, but I'm the iron chef. And the young and the restless poster. It's Jordan's favorite Jason character. Thompson. These are the Brussels. I just threw them in the bacon grease, and that's why you want to make sure you don't cook it too fast because you don't want to like burn your bacon. Here, the bacon bits. You want to burn them. You want to just cook them until they're nice and crispy, but you really want that bacon so that you can fry these beautiful Brussels sprouts. I'm going to help it out a little bit. Taylor is over here doing some good stuff. People talk a lot of mess about Brussels sprouts. Talking about they're nasty. They're nasty. You have to know how to cook Brussels sprouts, but you also have to be open to trying them. Brussels sprouts are mini cabbages, so if you like cabbage, you like Brussels sprouts, right? Um, what are you saying on for? Yes, I mean, true. butter sprouts are smaller, so they're definitely a little bit more bitter. Uh, but if you don't cook them properly, they can definitely be bitter and gross, but if you cook them properly, they can be excellent. So, so like I just said, but if you like cabbage, you like Brussels sprouts, just stop being picky. Stop being picky, eh? Stop being picky, I like it. I like it, yeah, yeah. I know you like it. You like mine, huh? I do. Uh, I love yours. Yeah. Love yours. I guess this, you can say this is your creation, this is your masterpiece, this is your dinner. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty delicious. This does, you did a really good job. Yeah. 
can't wait to eat. All right, so here's my first plate. Right now, I just got some eggs, and cheese, mashed potatoes, and brussels. It's gonna be so good. And chicken necks. Thank you so much for making all this wonderful food. You're welcome. So great. You're the best. A few moments later. Fantastic. I love that. It's probably all in my teeth. A plus plus.